Hey guys, Tyler Berger here with Bass Fishing HQ, and today I want to tell you what I think is the best Texas rig rigging option for a tube. So stay tuned, it's going to be a good one. Alright guys, so if you know me, you know that I really love tubes, and, and one thing that I really love to do is flip a tube. A tube is just really a phenomenal bait. It has a lot of action in the water. It spirals down at times. It hops. It just has a lot of action. Even when you just dead stick the bait, you can flip a bait in there and just let it sit a tube and all the tentacles that it has are going to move all around with the little bit of water currents that are happening down there. Everybody knows how effective a tube is. Now, it seems to be that a lot of people have kind of gotten away from flipping a tube. Back in the day, I think Denny Brower really made flipping a tube kind of famous, right? I think he won a Bassmasters Classic on High Rock Lake, if I'm not mistaken, where he won flipping a tube. That was one of the things that really made it popular. Up until then, a lot of people used tubes, you know, with tube jigs and things like that. But to actually flip a tube was something that was really different. And then it really caught on and, and people started fishing it a lot more. But the thing is, is that a lot of people started kind of struggling actually hooking up with a fish when they were fishing a tube. And because of that, and also because of just other lures being created like the sweet beaver and other creature style plastic baits, I feel like people have really gotten away from flipping a tube. And, and to me, I still think that flipping a tube is literally one of the best baits that you can flip because it, it gets a ton of bites and it also gets really big bites. And then bass fishing, those are the two things we want, right? We wanna be able to get a lot of bites and we wanna be able to get big bites. And to me, a tube does that very well. It really seems to have kind of that erratic action and erratic glide that no other bait really has. You know, so for years, people have been rigging tubes on an EWG style hook, like the one that I got here. And you know, you can make this particular style hook work, right? The, 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 the problem is, and the reason that a lot of people actually kind of lose fish when they're fishing a tube on a Texas rig, is that when they go to set the hook, this tube will actually slide down the shank of the hook, and you've probably done this if you flipped the tube before, and you'll get the tube back and it'll be all balled up on your bait like this. This is what it looks like. You had a fish, you know, you flipped into a bush or you pitched underneath of a dock, a fish come up there and smacked it, you set the hook, and this is what you bring back, right? This balled up nastiness, and because of that, the hook just kind of goes into the plastic of the bait, and it doesn't end up penetrating into the fish. So there are ways, like I said, that you can make this style hook work, but honestly, guys, I just don't understand why more people aren't fishing this particular hook that I'm about to show you guys. And guys, this is no secret. This hook has been on the market for years and years and years and years and years. But the interesting thing is that I have used it for probably going on five years now. I have used nothing but this hook when I go to flip a tube. When I show guys this tube hook, and I'm talking about like big time bass fishermen, guys who fish on the Bassmaster Opens and things like that, they're always a little bit skeptical of this hook. And I don't really know why, but they just are, or whatever reason, they maybe just never picked it up to try it. And I guess you can say it is because it is kind of weird shaped, but guys, I'm gonna go ahead and show it to you. Like I said, no secret here, but again, this hook is extremely effective for fishing a tube, okay? And that is the Trocar tube hook. Now guys, I am not sponsored by Trocar, although I do use a lot of Trocar hooks. I am not sponsored by Trocar. This is simply the hook that I choose to use when I am flipping or pitching or using a tube. Like I said, I feel like a tube is an extremely effective bait, and now I think that it's even a little bit more effective because just not as many people use it anymore like they used to. So guys, this is the hook. It's a Trocar tube hook. It is a little bit funny shaped. It is a little bit weird looking, but guys, this hook does the job. I'm sure there are quite a few of you guys out there who have used this hook and you know exactly what I'm talking about when it comes to 
fishing aid tube in. So I'm just gonna show you real quick how to put it on. It's really simple. It's just like you typically do. And I do make one small modification to this particular hook. And all I'm gonna do is when I get it out of the package, I'm gonna take a pair of pliers. I'm gonna grab it here towards the top of the hook like that. And I'm gonna simply bend this hook out just a little bit, just a degree or two. Now, you know, if you look online, guys will say don't bend out hooks because it kind of makes the metal of your hook a little bit weaker. And although that is true, I've done this and I've used this with braided line flipping Kissimmee grass and pads in Florida with a seven and a half foot rod and big sticks and stuff like that. And I've had no issues with it. And guys, so what I'm gonna do is I'm simply gonna bend that out. Basically, I want this hook point to be above the eye of the hook, just like that. Once it's above it, just like that, it's real simple, guys. You're gonna you're gonna you're gonna rig it up the exact same way you always do a tube. You're gonna, you're gonna stick it in. Now, this tube also, uh, guys, this is my favorite tube um, to flip, and this is the Denny Brower flipping tube made by Strike King not sponsored by Strike King, anything like that. Um, the thing that I like about it, it has a solid head on it. It's also four and a half inches. It's a little bit bigger of a tube, but still has a, a slender profile. Phenomenal hookup rate using this, okay? So just like I talked about, I'm just gonna rig it up Texas style, pull it all the way through. And here's the great thing is that this tube hook, Trocar tube hook does have a keeper on it right there. So. That's gonna keep that tube up on the hook. And so I'm gonna rig it again, just like you normally would, guys. And this is, this is exactly what I wanna see here, right? I got the keeper keeping this thing straight, and now that hook is perfectly, I mean, it's, it's, it's ready to come out, it's ready to hook a fish. You can see when, it, when I lay it just perfectly on the tube, that hook where we bent it out slightly, you can barely see this on the camera but it is just ever so slightly pointed upwards. And that's exactly what you want. You want that hook to be pointing out of the bait, just a hair, I mean, just a little bit of a degree. So I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna Texas or Texpose this just like so. And I'm gonna use a, a sinker and guys, that's it. That is the Texas rig tube. It, it, it lays nice and straight on this hook. And I'm telling you what guys, like I talked about, this really has a great hookup ratio. It, it, I, I have no problems with it. And like I said to you guys just a little bit earlier, I have actually showed this hook to several guys. One of the guys that I fished with for years on the opens and I showed him this hook and he was like, you know, started using it and he was like, dude, that hook is the freaking deal. You know, like that's the deal. I simply don't lose fish on this hook at all. So guys, again, I'm not sponsored by Trocar in any way. I'm not trying to plug them in any way, but I'm just saying this hook, it's not a secret, but I just feel like nobody uses it because it looks funny. And it does look a little bit funny in the package, but I'm telling you what, it works extremely well. Uh, I flip a tube all the time now. Like this is my confidence bait. If I can get bit on anything when I go to a lake or a reservoir that I don't, you know, fish, I'm going to pick up a Texas Rook tube and I'm going to pitch it and I'm going to flip it to cover or docks or anything like that. And I'm going to get bit. Now, one thing I do want you guys to know about this particular hook is that it is a little bit thicker than you might think, right? It's a little bit heavier of a wire. So the great thing is, is that it works well when I'm flipping it with braid. And I love to flip tubes when I go down to Florida, if I'm flipping reeds, if I'm flipping pads, if I'm flipping Kissimmee grass, I love to fish a tube. And now this hook is gonna work perfect with the braided line, that heavy line. It's not gonna flex out on you. It's, it's a great hook for that. But what I'm going to say is that this hook is a little bit thicker than you might think. So when you set the hook with this, you gotta give them the mustard, right? You gotta, you gotta, you gotta give them the potatoes. You gotta set the hook like a man and you're gonna be just fine. You don't necessarily have to set the hook like a man because it is a trocar hook. It is extremely sharp and it is gonna penetrate very, very well. So guys, I, I don't want this to be a long drawn out uh, video, but I just want you guys to know how awesome this hook is and how this is the only hook that I use for a Texas rig tube 
Go and pick you one out. I typically go with the six aught, sometimes the five aught. Go and get you one. They're at any tackle retailer out there. Go and get you a tro Trocar two hook. I'm telling you, they work. Bend it out a little bit and you're gonna be good to go. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, leave a comment if you have a question, and please subscribe, click that red button below. I'll see you guys in the next video.